The feature bout of UFC 299 will see one of the most high-profile free agent signings in recent memory make his UFC debut. It doesn't even look real to me. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's crazy. And Michael Venom Page relishes in the long-awaited opportunity. Let's try these ones on first because this one actually has your name. <laughs> to perform on MMA's biggest stage. I'm looking forward to this. To be in the UFC, I have to say it's unbelievable. It's, it's definitely top tier. Stand by. Action. I love it. Great job. It's so much more professional. I genuinely feel like a star. Beautiful. Let's get one more. And as you're coming up, I want you to celebrate. Fires, we bust our ass every day in order to achieve this feeling. And I'm looking forward to showcasing my skills here at the UFC. A charismatic striker from London, England. The man known as MVP came of age in the throes of combat. Both at the gym and right at home. That one there. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on in my head top right there, boy. That grin of yours. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the martial arts, he didn't really have much choice to start with because I did martial arts, his father did martial arts. So when he was zero, basically, I used to go to classes, he'd be in the push chair. That was a sort of the start of it all and him wanting to just be there and take part. Let's see, practicing. Practicing already, yeah, and the kick. The kick there already as well. Martial arts kind of kept me in line. I moved to an area known as Little Mexico because at one point I had like the, the most amount of cocaine in the UK. But they all found out that I did kickboxing. And one thing everybody respects on the street is fighting. Yes, nice. Use that leg. Use that leg. That's me getting flipped there. <laughs> this is why I dance in the cage as well, you know. I got the moves. Every single time I stepped on the mat, it became a show. I would add my flair, shoulders start moving, I'm smiling. I used to put on a show just because I knew people were watching. I was doing so well in the kickboxing. I wanted a new challenge and that's what brought me to mixed martial arts. Making his way to the cage now, we've seen he's a huge fan favourite, Michael Page. And Michael Page, you're looking at a world WK freestyle kickboxing champion, an incredible athlete, a lot of hype about Michael Page. I had my first fight, which went viral. Fighting out of London Shoot Fighters, Michael Venom! The cool calm collected pace of page. Nice that was a kick. big leg kick. Oh, and there's a nice uppercut. Oh, oh, oh. And there's a spinning kick. Oh, that is unbelievable. Wow. After that point, I understood I could be successful in the mixed martial arts world. It doesn't matter where you put me on the card, people are only going to be talking about that thing that MVP did. Bend your legs and don't let them drop. Bend your legs and don't let them drop. Go left, go right. This first fight is a big fight. As much as I've made a lot of noise in the MMA world, I feel like I can make an even bigger splash at the UFC. The task of welcoming MVP to the UFC 
goes to an equally brash and charismatic striker from the United States. Just one of those days, I'm gonna be singing. I don't think I brought enough shirts, bro. Yeah, we're gonna have a For Kevin Holland, martial arts was not a childhood calling. It was a necessary device for the troubled adolescent to mature. I was a sophomore in high school. Got in a little stench with a couple of security guards. Accidentally headbutted one. Next thing you know, I'm in continuation school. Next thing you know, I'm doing kung fu. Then there was a transition from kung fu to Muay Thai, and then to adding in the grappling. This young man is exciting, man, I'm telling you. The ultimate goal was just fight and make some money. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's got that guillotine. Oh, man. He's oh. tapping. That is all. Oh, Kevin Holland ends this fight. Somewhere down the line, I realized you can only make money if you went to the UFC. Holland just brimming with confidence. His nickname, Trailblazer, he says he's going to trailblaze to the top. There you go. That's the Diaz. Oh, good. Oh, really good. After making a splash on Dana White's Contender Series, Holland would become a multi-division mainstay in the UFC. This man delivers every time he steps foot in there. That's deep. Another tap. Kevin Holland, man, this kid's just fun. Beloved not only for his bravado, to talk. He doesn't stop talking. And this guy is different. But also for his ability to finish fights. First round knockout. Oh! One and done. Finish it. That gets in people's heads the way that Holland fights. Kevin is unpredictable. That's what makes him unique. That was nice, Doc. Oh! oh! That's it! Show this out! Oh stop, my stop, goodness! Stop. Who KO'd someone from there? His style is not something that you can really train for. The strike, in my word, this guy is phenomenal on the feet. Oh my god, he's got the neck! Oh no, look at that! He pulls people into his tricky arsenal. That's it! He has multiple submissions on his record as well. Beautiful. MVP is very quick, very long. Devastating knockout artist. Damn. But it's going to be the years of having real tough opponents to fight that's going to take Kevin over the top. Phenomenal performance by Kevin Holland. Outstanding. Ready, one, two. Let's get it. A couple more reps each, and we're going to slide by. As always in the UFC, an Octagon debut will see the newcomer met with a stiff test. And like-minded striker Kevin Holland aims to fight fire with fire. In the March 9th showdown with Michael Venom Page. MVP is definitely a unique opponent comes from a different organization. But the question is, how does he do over here in the UFC against high-level opponents? He can crack, puts people's lights out. The bright lights of the UFC, the promotion, everything, the way they do things, it's a whole different level. Some of the best athletes in the world competing here in this octagon. He's bitten off more than he can chew. March 9th, it's going down. Put a snake in there with a boy that's been living in Texas as long as I have. And I'll snake charm that boy. How about it, Kevin Holland? Oh! Kevin, you can say all these things that you want. And here. Oh, and there's a nice uppercut. The reality kicks in when I kick you in the face. I'm going to give you a show, and it's the MVP show. Welterweight strikers collide at UFC 299 before lightweight finishers Dustin Poirier. A certified UFC legend. His future is in the UFC Hall of Fame. And Benoit Saint-Denis. He's got a special quality and a real killer instinct. Square off in the co-main event for a night headlined by the bantamweight championship rematch between Marlon Cheeto Vera. Cheeto Vera is an animal. He was born for this. The reigning king, Trigger Sean O'Malley. Legit knockout power and a tremendous belief in himself. It all goes down on March 9th in Miami.